word to the world and speak to us, and they said yes. And um, I am going to continue, I'm going to go back and, and continue that conversation to try and facilitate that for them in whatever way they ask of me. Uh, and I am um, working with some other tribes, which will remain, you know, nameless at this point. Of course, everyone knows I work with the Hopi, and I'm always asking them to come forward. And that is getting very close as well. I believe that they are ready to start to um, speak to the world. I believe that. I, and so I hope that everyone at Project Camelot will just send a blessing out this way for them to do that for all of us. And uh, so... Continue doing exactly what you're doing. And, and in saying this, Carrie, I want to share something, because um, I know we only have a minute left. Project Camelot people um, have assisted um, everything that you and Bill have done, and I applaud you always for all of the work that the two of you have done and created for all of us, and I, and I thank you for that. But I want to send a special thank you to all of the Project Camelot um, people because they truly are out there doing the work and they are listening to quote the instructions that are being given to them by all of the whistleblowers that you have on your site and by yourselves and taking that direction and certainly they have helped me to facilitate the work that I'm doing because without that that would not be possible at all and so I just want to say a very special thank you to them because uh, these tribes are coming forward. Another sacred tribe from um, from Peru that I've had contact with, the, with the um, Incas, are also wanting to uh, come forward and speak to the world to a certain degree with the other tribes. So they are beginning to come together, and that is what my work is doing, and I will be able to make that happen. I, I know that I will if I'm able to continue traveling and um, putting the steps in place for it to take for it to happen. So thank you and let's just keep doing exactly what we're doing, Carrie. Well um thank you so much, Miriam. I, I do want to say that a lot of people don't understand what it is you do and we sometimes get emails to that effect. And yeah. so I, I do want to say here that Miriam's work is a work on raising global consciousness. And in a sense, that's also Camelot's mission. So you have to understand, or people should understand, that this sort of work is not the sort of work that you can go down and get paid for. So that is why we ask for donations. You know, occasionally you'll see me uh, ask for donations for Miriam specifically. Um, and, and this is because the mission that we do is pretty much 24-7. My... Um, my, my friendship with Miriam goes beyond our work, but I have to say that I am aware that she is, she's a workaholic basically. She's always working. She's always figuring out new ways to, to move this mission along. The idea is to raise the global consciousness, to move into the fourth dimension, to help the earth, to cleanse the earth, and to make this, uh, this earth a better place for everyone and for the people that remain behind and so on. So this is, this is a very sophisticated kind of a mission. It, it isn't, um, you can't see it in the nuts and bolts around you in society, but I, I encourage you to support, uh, what Miriam does. Uh, she, she did take her own inheritance. I'm going to say this much. I think you probably wouldn't want to shoot me though. Um, she did take some of her own inheritance and, and it was very small to begin with, but she basically donated all her money to towards this work she does. Um, and, uh, you know, that that's just the kind of dedication we're talking about. Um, I have to say for myself, I did the same thing. Uh, and so, you know, we are not just um, kind of talking off the top of our heads here. This is very real. This is very uh, nuts and bolts in the way we, we have to conduct our lives. So, um, Miriam, we do have a couple minutes. Is there any last, uh, you know, words that you'd like to say? Yes. Thank you. Um, I'm going to say that the work that I do, the work that I'm doing is, uh, the facilitation of the energy of, of the earth. And through these indigenous tribes, that every single person out there that, that is involved in spiritual or even um, ancient knowledge, for example, is interested in, is what it is that I'm working on being able to bring forward. 
and not forward in a book for people to buy. But I'm working on being able to bring it forward to make it free to everyone so that everyone has access to that information in a, in a centralized place. And that is the goal if, of, of the work that I'm doing. And that I know that, for example, when I was in Africa with the San people, that they themselves are really um, becoming stronger uh, collectively in coming together as a result of um, the energy that was put forth by certain people and, and uh, one of them being myself. And so they're, they're finding their own unity and strength in coming forward to their own government and saying, you know, this is what we're asking for, respect for ourselves and our land. Um, and the Kogi and the, the other three tribes in the Sierra are also doing the exact same thing at this particular moment. I also know that the, and I'm going to say this, um, that the Hopi are currently uh, and have been for uh, some time now more unified than they ever have been before the traditional leaders. And I look very much forward to um, them uh, sharing with all of you a new website from the directly from, and I say this, directly from the traditional leaders of Hopi. And you can look forward to seeing that in the very near future. And when that happens, I will be sharing that with Carrie so that she can put a little note on the Project Camelot website. So that's coming up very, very, very quickly here. And that's the kind of work that I facilitate, and I'm honored to be a part of the Project Camelot crew. I am just like everyone else, part of the ground crew. And uh, let's just keep doing what we're doing taking direction, being respectful to one another, and making sure that um, we're doing things in a peaceful um, peaceful way. And let's focus on that peaceful part, because I want to make sure that we're able to continue doing our work. So thank you, and blessings to everyone. Look forward to sharing more. Thank you, Miriam. That was a great uh, tag for the, for the end of our session here. Uh, and hopefully we can have you back when you can report uh, some more of the things that you are in the process of and involved in, uh, I know that there's elements that you still can't talk about, and because everything is in the uh, is in in process as we go. Uh, but I do want to also say that people can help with their own good intentions towards the future, and uh, and and we would like you to continue to meditate um, and to bring positive energy to the earth and to uh, the various missions that people are on um, and find your own way also find your way of contributing to to turning this whole thing around because that's exactly what we need and uh, the indigenous people and the connection with them is a very crucial area and that is why we we bring Miriam on fairly often because the great gathering is something that is actually it's it's a metaphor as well we are having as we speak a great gathering of humanity and it's what direction we take that gathering that's going to make all the difference in the world. So, um, so thank you, Miriam. I'm so happy to speak to you and, um, you know, and be well and we'll talk soon. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. So our next guests are, are going to be uh, with us just shortly. It's going to be Bill Handel and Duncan O'Finian. And they should be with us just after the break. And I believe we're going there now. 